The prime crew of Expedition 4748 to ISS is ready for the state um, exam. The commander is reporting. And the date today? So here we have the documentation. Do you have any questions? Our dear guests, do you have any questions to the crew? It hasn't affected the work. You know, I've been working on the space station for almost 20 years in the partnership. We've been training for over two years. Uh, the partnership has never been better, and uh, I, uh, every crew I've been on has been a great, great combination. We've had a great time. We're friends. We're looking forward to flying together. And this time, what's the most complex experiment, the most tricky one? Well, I don't know if I can pick a most uh, complex or, or tricky, as you say. Uh, they're all uh, vary, in, uh, vary in their difficulty and their complexity or whatnot. Uh, we have a vast array of experiments, very interesting experiments. Several of them are, are joint experiments uh, among the partners. Uh, we're looking forward to executing them. Yesterday's exam was fine. The whole crew got through of nominal situations that we were presented with and we were successful. We had the following of nominal situations. Electron system failure, radio system failure, the VHF, and also smart switch router BRI failure, and also a fire on the station by the end of the SIM. It was my third flight in the Soyuz. Uh, the first two, of course, were two-day flights uh, to the space station. This one's going to be a, a little, about five and a half hours, four orbits uh, to rendezvous. It's a logical um, advancement and progression in, in the efficiency of the flight, so I'm looking forward to it. Its design is a little bit different. Of course, the end result is the same as before. What I'm going to miss about the two-day flight, yeah, there were some, there's some special things on a two-day flight uh, that you get to, uh, to experience uh, living in in the, the small uh, confines of a Soyuz capsule. Uh, doing the solar spin is a very unique experience. Uh, um, and of course, uh, we always have the chance to, uh, to revert to a two-day rendezvous. Wait a minute.
No, this is quite normal. Dear Chairman, the prime crew of Expedition 4748 to ISS is ready for the Russian segment training and the commander is ready. We are all ready. I'm the responsible for the Russian segment and I'm the assistant. Do you have any questions? No, it's all clear. And now, after this, you will have a rest and continue your preparation. And uh, if there is a failure of the simulator, this is just a technical failure. We are expecting a cohesive interaction between all of you. If you have some spare time, you can assist your crew members. And uh, pay more attention to routine operations, like uh, cleaning the grills and other maintenance. It may seem very small to you, but uh, it is important. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> I'm taking the whole responsibility on myself for this. <coughs> Would you prefer a fire or the press? It doesn't matter. You're doing great, guys. And also the interview now. The last time I was there, we were just finishing up the assembly of the space station. Now it's in full utilization mode in both segments, both the Russian and the uh, American segment. So I'm looking forward to, to getting back in station during this phase in its lifetime. How do you feel? We feel good. We are ready for work. And I'm going to take a, a toy from my daughter to indicate zero G. The toy will show us when we are in zero G. And during my whole expedition, I will be reminded of my daughter. How many experiments are you going to have? We have about 50 experiments, medical and biological. Of course, uh, most of our activities will be related to space medicine, studying how the human body reacts to zero-g. And also we will have some experiments on the station structure itself and also some uh, protein molecule growth and others. Uh, we recognize that even though the situation in the world uh, can bring some pressures at the higher levels, we also recognize that we are working better than ever in our partnership, within the partnership, and hopefully uh, we can be a, a continue to be a, a symbol, a positive symbol to the entire world. 
If you have any free time, what do you do? Do you talk to people on Earth? If we have any free time, I think we're going to find something to talk about. We will talk about our family, our friends, and of course we can talk about work. And of course, if we are going to have any free time, the favorite activity of any crew member is earth observation and earth photography. And of course, we will have some music and movies to watch if we have free time. And are you going to downlink some photographs and video for us to see? Yes, of course. We are going to downlink it to the Roscosmos site. And they are going to put this information on other websites and social networks. The first flight we had the Soyuz TMA flight, and we are going to be the last crew to fly in this Soyuz modification. It just happened this way. Please oppose.